Hey guys, this is your friend Mitch here from Mitch from Maker, and today I don't think you are going you know this, but I'm actually a decent block coder. I'm going to show you how, guys how to make a sliver um sliver dot io game. Um, it's really fun and addictive. I like to play it in my spare time, um, in between zooms because I'm just going through learn from home. It's really boring. And and if you if you don't know what coding was that I'm using, I'm using Scratch. It's free. I recommend you sign up because it'll save it. So now I guess we'll get 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 on to a tutorial. So see inside. This is my own game. Go to, before you do any of this stuff. You're going to need a variable. Call the call call it length. All right, just like that. And then once you've got length, you 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 can go on. So also got. Oh, sorry, don't start. Grab a few costumes. I decided to go with these ones. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. My favorite one is this one. I just want to make sure this is centered. Okay, good, it's centered. All right, and then you may start making this code. Feel free to pause the video. I'm just going to drag it out so you can see it all. And also for that, you need weight and then the amount of seconds you put in, but then put in the length variable you can just drag it and put it in that will allow it to get bigger oh uh, sorry um and then you what and then after you have done that go into food grab another bowl and call it food and then make this code in green fireplace got a random position if touching player then change length by 0.03 broadcast message one hide go to x minus 236 y minus 178 wait one second go to random position show change curl effect by pick around the one to 100 for having trouble finding that go into your friendly operators and just grab this and put one to 100 Um, also, if you're having trouble f t finding the touching player bowling, just go to sensing and grab this and set it to touching player. And if you're having tr f trouble finding the if then statement, it just go to your control and you can find it there. All right. Then I want you guys to duplicate it. Ten. No. One. Two. I want you guys to duplicate it eight times so you've got a good amount of food and then upload a backdrop. I just decided to use the official um, Sliver.io backdrop um, and there's no code for the backdrop whatsoever and I'm just going to save this. I don't know why it wants me to save. But I'm just going to save it. And then. Uh, and then. Hit, if you. And then. Your game should. Should work. Just like. This. And you should be able to. Pick these up. Get slightly longer. And also, if you want it to display the length and player size, go to variables, tick that for the length, and then go to looks, and then tick size. And then, that is it for today. You just learned your, how to make your own Sliver.io game. If we can get 200 subscribers, I will make um, a tutorial 
for how to make an online one. That's it for today, guys. Like and subscribe. See ya.